So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is yet another experience in the Pearl of Africa and today we are at Crater Lakes Safari Lodge. Look at the beauty of this place. Now one beautiful thing about the Safari Lodge is that it has its rooms named after the pet names of the people that live in this particular area. So you'll be able to see rooms with the names like Ateni, Akiki, Apuli, Arali. Well, my pet name is Ateni right here in the Bunyoro Kingdom. But for now, let me show you around the Safari Lodge and show you how amazing it really looks. I love it here already, but I can't wait to see what more it has to offer. In and out of love Never get enough We never seem to get older Look at how beautiful this room looks here You seem to have the time But when it's hard you just grow cold up We should be good but we keep out of fires The words you be cause we're scared of the silence it looks beautiful, the crafts in there, the paintings on the wall, the space, the couple of beds You're overlooking the crater lake and it's really beautiful because the wind blows from the crater lake up into the room, it's really amazing. So I think this is a really brilliant idea for you to have a coach right at the balcony as you walk out of your room with the uh, beautiful pillows where you can sit and get a beautiful view of the lake it's a really refreshing view i love it here i love it here i think this would be a place i'd really spend a lot of my time just sitting and enjoying the view of the lake and getting refreshed with that beautiful sunset Just after we checked in at Crater Safari Lodge, I took a very brief tour around the lodge. It really looks beautiful and right now it's time for us to have lunch. So as we're having our lunch right here, we're going to be enjoying the views and getting the cool breeze from the lake. And it's kind of strange, don't even know your name. Right here is the bar and the dining section. Really spacious and it looks uh, really cozy. So if you want to come and chill over the bar or at the dining section, you'll be able to still get a good experience, get a good view of the lake. Still experience a good breeze straight from the lake. So after having lunch, I decided to check out more of this place. I'm impressed by the number of rooms I've seen in this place. Quite a number of them and all of them are facing and giving you the beautiful view of the lake just as you walk out of the room. And this right here is the grand entrance into the section where the other rooms just check out those rooms right behind me that are facing the swimming pool. Right here seated by the pool looking at all those beautiful rooms that are facing the pool unfortunately i couldn't get into the pool because i don't know how to swim however 2022 my new year's resolution is to learn how to swim so i'll make sure that i get to learn how to swim he's lying i asked him if he wants to learn how to swim and he refused 2022 i need to learn how to swim and the moment i learn how to swim i'll be able to enjoy such beautiful swimming pool experiences Wow, look at that spot right there. That's the end of these stairs. It's like a dock. I think when uh, you want to take a boat ride, they could be able to dock right there. So I found a local here, the guy that I was seeing from up there who was chilling at this dock. A really beautiful place. Given that I speak the local language here, I just want to talk to him in Lunyoro, Rutoro, and see if we can be able to get more information about this place. So the name of the lake is Lake Ninabulitwa. Okay, so that's good. He's actually telling me that if you want to get a boat ride, 
uh, there's a local guy fishing right there and you could be able to request and get onto the boat and then get a simple cruise or just a feel of how it feels like being on this uh, lake in Yinawritwa. Yeah. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, Timothy right here is my guide for the community walk that we're going to be having. What's the name of the place here? It is called Calfred. Calfred. Eh? Yeah. So Calfred is the project, right? Yeah. And the quite uh, cool things in here. So if you're interested in buying crafts, you could get uh, some of these uh, beads here. We have um, crafts carved out of wood and so much more on the other side of the room where you'll be able to buy a souvenir and take something back home from your experience in my homeland. Wow. We are going to go for a banana experience and we're going to be seeing a lot of banana products right here at Rest in Banana Gardens. So let's go and check out what it is like inside here in the banana gardens. So, so I'm called Banana Man. Banana Man. That's the name they call me in the community. Man. I make banana drinks from banana fruit. So we're already here at the banana experience. We met the Banana Man himself and he's just showing us the different categories of the bananas that they use for making juice. All of them are right here in this garden. This is the whole process. This is how it's beginning. The guy is so fast. You look at how many bananas he's undressed. Yeah, if, even even we ca I can use one hand. You can use one hand yeah, eh? to undress just... the banana. Wow, look at that! What a skill! This is why they call me Banana Man. Banana Man, you know this. Yeah. And we make sure we get the banana leaves that are getting dry. And I have to mix the banana leaves together with banana fruits. Fifty fifty. They have to balance. so fast but that's, that's how excited we are to have this juice as you can see the bananas that were whole are all now mixed up in the banana leaves and I think we are just a step closer to having a juice ready. Uh -huh. The place is called resting banana because when you try our banana drinks which are alcoholic like banana gin or banana beer you end up getting drunk and there you will sleep in banana plantations, <laughs> all in banana house. Yeah, it is dropping in the glass. You can see it right there. That's right there is our genus. And I like the color. Yeah. Looks so good. Looks banana. Yeah. Look, look, look at this. Yes. This banana juice made banana from juice banana fruits. Made in like less than 20 minutes right here by the expert banana man man. This guy is this guy is a pro. He <laughs> loves what he's doing and you could is it right now for drinking? Yes. Really? So guys we are in the final stages of our banana juice. I'm here with banana man right here in uh, Bigodi Cultural Experience and guess what in the past 20 minutes he's been making this lovely juice through the whole uh, throughout the whole process I've been just witnessing magic and I'm going to be testing just to know how good this feels. I'm right here with Timothy. Timothy is also going to be getting a <laughs> taste of the banana juice. I'm sure he's had it so many times and this is one of those other times, but for me, it is my first time. Yeah, he's a banana friend. Oh, wow. wow. Cheers. Cheers, bro. <laughs> this. Yeah, it's, it's a weekend. <laughs> it's juice o'clock. It's juice o'clock, man. Yes. So let me, add, let me get some of this. Guys, no bananas, no party. I can't get enough of this. No <laughs> bananas, no party. That's, <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> that's the slang here. No bananas, no party. So guys, if you're watching, cheers to you too. So guys, as we conclude our experience here, this is Banana Man. <laughs> a very energetic and strong guy. Very yes. passionate about bananas and I'm mm, glad I really mm. got to meet you. 
Thank you so much for the great work that you're doing. Cheers for that. Yeah, and thank you for making the people in this area go bananas. Uh, no people, bananas, no party. Yeah, no bananas, no party. Uh, yeah, the fun is always bananas. Bananas, yo. Mm, yes. Thank you so much. Subscribe on uh, Mr. Mchungzi's YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Yo, massive. More videos. <laughs> Guys, uh, just after the cultural experience, we going back to the hotel. But you can see this is a play field where guys come and play soccer in the evening. I feel like I would go and get some skills there put to work. But right now I'm really exhausted from the filming and I'm a little bit bananas from the banana rest in banana experience. So for now, uh, let's just check out. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe.